the superficial perineal pouch. This is the pelvic outlet and it's divided into two parts uh, by a horizontal line along the ischial tuberosity and this is urogenital triangle. And superficial perineal pouch and deep perineal pouch are situated um, in this triangle. So first superficial perineal pouch. If we remove skin, we found fatty layer of superficial fascia. If we remove this layer, we found collis fascia. This is the continuation of the fascia scarpa of the anterior abdominal wall. If we remove this fascia, we found the deep perineal pouch. This space is known as deep, so, sorry, superficial perineal pouch. It contains three muscles, bulbus spongiosus, superficial transverse perine, and ischio cavernosus. And these muscles are situated in both sides. And then another fascia, the perineal membrane or inferior uh, fascia of the urogenital triangle. So superficial perineal pouch, the space between collis fascia and perineal membrane. And this space contain three pair muscle, bulbous spongiosus, superficial transverse perine, and ischio cavernosus. If we remove this layer, then we found perineal membrane. If we remove perineal membrane, we found urogenital diaphragm formed by deep transverse perineal muscle and around the urethra, sphincter urethra. These two muscles form urogenital diaphragm. And if we remove these two muscles, then we found the superior fascia of urogenital diaphragm. So deep perineal pouch is situated in between perineal membrane and superior layer of urogenital diaphragm. And this is, this is, this is deep perineal pouch and this is superficial perineal pouch. So summary, superficial perineal pulse situated between collis fascia and the inferior layer of the urogenital diaphragm or perineal membrane. And it's contained three pair muscle. And deep perineal pouch situated between perineal membrane or inferior layer of the urogenital diaphragm, inferior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm and superior fascia of the urogenital diaphragm and it's contained urogenital diaphragm.